Oh, such a shame when she had to go and collect Amber. He's going to miss everything. Well, what exactly is he going to miss? Our celebration. Of? Us, David. You're not wanting to make us more of an us, are you? Take us to another Uzzy, Uzzy level. What are you on about? Are you going to propose to me? Uh, no! Right. He said it. No, I didn't. We've only just started dating. Why would I propose? Exactly. That's... Wouldn't be a bad thing, though. Just... Oh, really? Well, of course, it's always the man's job, isn't it? With a very, very expensive ring. More drinks, anyone? Mm, not for me, thank you. I need a clear head for clinic this afternoon, and uh, seeing as there's no big announcement... Laurel? Oh, no, I'm fine with my orange, thank you. Oh, come on, Laurel. Don't leave me drinking on my own. Laurel's not drinking. Oh! You're the one with the announcement! Ah, oh, congratulations! When are you due? No. No, she's not pregnant. I'm in recovery. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, really, it's fine. Honestly, it's fine. <laughs> it's alcohol. What? Is that a cocktail? Yeah, but I thought it was mine. It looked like mine. You okay? Yeah. No, I need to go, actually. I I I'm so sorry. Please stay. No, it's been really lovely. Thank you. But I, uh, I just had to go. Oh. I was worried. Uh, yeah, sorry, I just um, had to clear my head. Go for a walk. Oh, Jay, you know, that time without a drink. Hey, 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 you didn't fail, OK? You didn't choose to drink. But are you OK? Yeah. Yeah, I can handle it. Sure? Mm-hmm. Do you need to go to a meeting? I know you didn't lapse and you weren't tempted to drink, but I know if I'd had some cocaine, even if I didn't mean to, I'd struggle. You know, I'd want more. Yeah, well, you know, like you said, it's not as if I wanted a drink, so... Right, I've got to get to you. Could you just stop a second? No, I promised Arthur I'll do a lasagna. No, you seemed upset earlier. No, is there something more going on here? Like what? Like what Mina said, about you being pregnant. No, we haven't talked, really talked, for so long. Yeah, I know. Hey, this is me, OK? Just me. Asking the woman I love if she's OK. No. So you're not OK? <laughs> I've been struggling, you know. With the baby. Sorry. Poppy. I didn't really want to say all of this, but, you know, I didn't want to guilt you or think that we'd done the wrong thing. But you're finding it hard. It's OK to say, you know. Yeah. I've been lying awake at night, replaying everything in my head, only I'm rewriting it, cos... I'm thinking, what if we didn't have that news? What if we... Hadn't made that decision. You know, I'd be pregnant now. <laughs> Waiting for the first kick. But I, I know, I know that we made the right choice. For us. But I just, I just lie awake and I feel so empty. I should have seen. Well, I didn't let you. You know, I'd walk in a room. You'd walk out. There'd be a silence, I'd grab the kids, grab anyone. I just... I didn't want us to have to talk about it alone. It was our choice. Our decision. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it doesn't stop me hating it, though, does it? Oh, sorry, it just... I, sh I shouldn't be saying all this, it's just not fair. No, I get it. Because I feel exactly the same. You know, I am hurting too. 
and I did notice that we weren't spending time alone and and that was down to me as well and I was running off to work and I, I wasn't spending I wasn't making time for you and, and then I just sit in that office and I just stare into space I, I, I can't get it out of my head yet we lost a baby. Well, this is grief. But I don't feel I have a right to that. You know, we built a future in our minds. You know, a life with a new baby. You know, this is, uh, this is so hard. Yeah. But, but it's good that we're talking at last. Hey, and we will get through this, you know, as, as long as we're honest. Tell each other everything. 